So in this video, we're going to look at what voltage is. And we're going to use this example of a rock, <coughs> excuse me, on the side of a cliff to try and explain how um, voltage works. Because the actual um, reason, the exact reasons why our electrons are going to have less potential energy at the cathode than they do at the anode requires some really complicated quantum chemistry. Um, which is not going to be on your exam, and we don't have to do it in this course. So let's just look at what happens. Um, we've got our potential energy for electrons that's higher at the anode than it is the cathode. We know that all things naturally move to ach achieve a state of lower potential energy. For example, a rock at the top of a cliff will fall so that it has a lower gravitational potential energy. So let's look at that example. Um, and we're going to look at potential energy in order to explain voltage. They both work in very similar ways. So we do know that work is equal to the force times the distance. And the force is the mass of the rock times gravitational potential energy, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. We know that the units for work are in joules. So as we apply a force to the rock to pull it up the cliff, we are increasing the gravitational potential energy of the rock because we're increasing the distance. The potential energy is mass times um, gravitational energy times height because we're talking about force times distance, so force is mg. Um, so the potential energy is going to equal the work um, that we did to get the rock to the top of the cliff. So we think of the change in voltage or the potential difference as the change in potential energy over the charge in coulombs. Um, now a coulomb is, hang on one second, a coulomb is a um, set of electrons and a negative 1 coulomb of charge is 6.25 times 10 to the 18 electrons. We can't measure this by individual electrons because they're so teeny tiny. One electron has a charge of negative 1.6 times 10 to the mi negative 19 coulombs. So um, voltage is actually the change in potential energy versus this uh, 1.6 times 10, I'm sorry, 6.25 times 10 to the 18 electrons. And that's the number of electrons that produce one coulomb of charge. Alright, so going back to our uh, rock example with this information, we know that the potential difference, our delta V here, um, is the change in potential energy per unit charge. So the potential energy is going to increase as electrons move from the cathode to the anode. This shift in position is going to go against nature because electrons spontaneously flow from anode to cathode. Uh, now, remember, this is just an analogy to help you understand what voltage is. Um, you actually couldn't put this little man um, in the wire and ask him to do this for you, okay? But basically what our uh, example here is saying, it would take 12 joules of energy to pull 6.25 times 10 to the 18 electrons, or one coulomb of charge, from the cathode to the anode. And that would be our voltage or our potential difference. Now, we get our electrons up there, and they now possess 12 joules of potential energy, which they're going to convert into kinetic energy as they flow back down to the cathode. So at the cathode, the electrons are going to possess less potential energy than they do at the anode because the electrons spontaneously flow from anode to cathode. Um, if we look in terms at the system in terms of building potential energy, we can imagine this little man pulling the electrons from the cathode to the anode. When they get to the anode, they have reached their maximum potential energy. Now, if he dropped 2 times 6.25 times 10 to the 18 electrons, which would be equal to 2 coulombs of charge, then the potential energy would be 24 joules of potential energy converted um, into kinetic energy it would still give us 12 volts. The ratio would be the same. So if you double the amount of electrons, then you double the amount of energy, and it causes the ratio to stay the same. So this is why it's more convenient for us to use um, change in voltage as opposed to change in potential energy. The amount of energy per charge is constant no matter how many electrons go through the wire. 
So here's a quick summary of potential energy and voltage, or change in potential energy. The energy here is the difference in potential energy between the anode and the cathode. The charges are the electrons that each one carries negative 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. It takes 6.25 times 10 to the 18 electrons to add up to one coulomb of charge. In a 12 volt battery, the difference in potential energy between the anode and the cathode is 12 joules per coulomb of charge. Now if we were to take 6.25 times 10 to the 18 electrons at the cathode and drag them back to the anode, it would require 12 joules of work. That 12 joules of potential energy is converted into kinetic energy that moves the electrons from the anode to the cathode in um, the battery. Now please keep in mind again that this is um, simply an analogy to help you understand voltage.